Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Productions and I'm your host John. Today we're running a 6-3 home run from this panel through the attic and to the back of the house where it's going to go into a J-Box to feed a sub-panel for a spa and a prefabricated barbecue. So let's get started. We're going to be using the attic access to run the wire. The next thing we do is run the fish tape through the attic and drop it down to the cable TV box just below the panel. We then connect the 6-3 Romex to the fish tape and pull the wire through the attic to the attic access. You need to pull enough wire to reach the outside wall with enough left over to run down the wall and into the weatherproof junction box. Please note here that all wire that is in an attic or an opened wall must be fastened with staples or an approved fastener every 48 inches. Other than the panel, the last step is to pull the wire from the attic access to the outside wall access so we can drop down the inside wall and terminate the wire in a weatherproof J-box. Wire is run, nail plated, secured with a staple, it's going outside. Comes out next to the gas pipeline where I, where I wanted it. It's going to be beam mounted. So all we got to do now is put that in a J-box and cover it. Box is grounded, mounted, wire netted, and ready to be put to bed. Well, that concludes this episode on how to do a attic run using Romex and then converting to THHN all the way through coming down a chase and then getting into the panel using a cable box as an access and doing your connections. Quite different than a conduit install. And I really hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and have a great day.